Hey guys and welcome back. So today you join me at the Fair Hills Caravan Park, but I'm going to go for a drive now around Margate. So this video is basically a drive around Margate, sort of like a sightseeing video and it's going to be Margate and a bit of Ramsgate because I think this caravan park is in Ramsgate. So driving tour. So we're just starting to enter Margate now. Looks like there's probably load shedding because the robots are not working. So yeah, I'll have a Okay, there's a sign here to the left. It says Margate in three kilometers. There's a lot of shops around here. Yeah, I can see there's a Jeep dealership, there's an auto zone to the left, and there's a Gamma here to the left. Red robot as well. So, this is like the start of the urban area side, I think, where the shops and stuff are like the town area. Paymaster Gold and Diamond Exchange. So yeah, a lot of shops around here. It is even like Albany. Oh, is that a bakery? Yeah, that's a factory there with the milk, baked bread. See these potholes, giant potholes here. And there's a butcher to the left. Fresh meat. So I'm guessing all these shops are here before all the like holiday resorts and so on like the chalets and airbnbs this garage here. okay there's one sign to the left La Cote de Azur starting to enter like the you know holiday area i know there's an audi dealership oh yeah there's it right here there's an audi to my right audi dealership and now there's a garage that's right in the front here every time i see that garage i know like now i'm in, I'm in market there's also a vw uh, dealership there to the right here's the sasso garage Whenever I see this garage, I know, okay, now I'm in market. I came this way to do some camping. Actually at the Fair Hills Caravan Park tonight. I need to get something to eat, so uh, I thought it would be a good idea to do like a tour of market while I'm going out to look for something to eat. So there's a Tiago sign to the left on this uh, light post here. Yeah. There's another one here too, another Tiago sign. So I can see there's a lot of like chalets around this area. Margate Hotel. Oh, there's a KFC as well and a liquor store to the right. Margate Hotel. I must see how much it is to stay here. Maybe I could do a video on staying at the Margate Hotel. This is like Margate for me. As soon as you enter like this area. Because I've been here a few times, but not like that often. Like, I think the last time I came here was maybe three years ago. Before COVID. Yeah. But this is de this definitely feels like Margate to me. As soon as you hit this, that, as soon as you see that Sasol garage and you drive along this road here, yeah, this is, this is Margate. La Vita to the left and there's King's View I'm not sure if it's a hotel or if people stay there like it's apartments where people pay rent and they live there not just holiday people and then these bread bin 
mga gate cart so where's all these food places? I thought there was a KFC sign like 200 meters central court liquor closed but it's fine I already got stuff blue lagoon restaurant and cocktail deck no I need like a fast food This is a shop, right? So most of the stores are closed now because it's the afternoon. But I'm looking for food on this tour. Hey, there's a jet there. Hardly see jet stores anywhere. Except like in malls, like you don't see them on the side of the road. Bait and jackal here. Yeah? Maybe I can get bait from the store on my right. Oasis Lodge Smokey Joe's Pub and Grill There's a sign saying Whale Rock here to the left Is that a chalet? So there's a lot of like uh, like holiday resorts here People coming for the weekend or staying the week. This is, that's what uh, essentially Margate is. It's like a big holiday destination on the south coast of KZN. Look at these ones to the right of me. The sort of like peach ones. They look nice. called Surabaya, Surabaya, and there's silhouette to the left, Villa del Sol, wait a minute, did I not even see the KFC that I was supposed to look at, or the Tiago's? Beach Bomber Bay. Okay, let's see if we can try and get to the beach and have a look at the beach here at Margate. And then I'll go on the tour for me. I might have to stop and uh, like check on Google Maps the way to the beach. Bait and sack tackle super. Blue Lagoon. There's another Blue Lagoon here in, in Margate. I only know the one that's in Durban. Black Cup Oh, it's closed. But a, it is a Sunday afternoon, but it's not so late. But most of the places are closed. Going around now, but I'm using my Google Maps now too to direct me. Turn left. Oh, so now before when I passed this Margaret Hotel, I went straight, but oh, there's a KFC over there. But I never go down here before. There's a back line spot. In 200 bar. meters. Okay, yeah. Turn left. Back line sports bar to the left. Oh, there's a Margate Hotel entrance here. Yeah? Boulevard. Oh, there's a Mozambique restaurant here. Yeah? There's a bunch of other stuff. But where is the Tiago's that I saw? Because I never ate Tiago's before and I'd like to try it. Margate Sands Resort. Cherry Blossom Beauty Bar and Spa. Is that it? Oh, there's a Tiago's up there. Okay, no, it's fine. I, when I'm going back. Turn left. I will. 
stop at the Tiagos. So there's a beach here. There's a Whoopi, Mozambique. Let me look for a parking then. The Grove Restaurant Beach Bar. I just want a simple like takeaway so I can go back to the camp area and eat it. In 400 meters, your destination will be on the left. So I set the destination to the Margate Pier. So it's not far from here. There's a there's a lovely view of the of the beach. I have to stop here. From this angle, it looks so good. Hold on. So that's what I was seeing through the side window, and I had to stop to like take a video of it. This is a nice beach to come relax at. It's a lot of the sh the tide is not very high because you, as you can see, the water is going a long way. Oh, the, uh, what I mean is like the the beach is not very deep because, as you can see, it's going a long way. Some nice rocks here. As you can see, there's a lot of like chalets around this area. Just to name a few, there's a seagull, there's a Santorini. The reason why it's such a popular destination is the beach is right there. So coming up to this Margate Pier, I can see it from here. Oh, there's even more like holiday resorts here. You can see the dolphin view, Margate Sun. Let me just park around here so I can take a walk on that pier. Here is the pier. Let me take a walk down. Oh. These steps are quite high. A lot of people fishing around here. Whoa, that was a huge wave. I must hit the, it did hit the pier. If you could see, the water dripping. See the water dripping down here? That wave hit the pier and it flew. The water came up the pier. And I'm now I'm standing right where it hit. Holy sh I just walked past there and you can see a bunch of what I just walked past there and then a wave just hit. This is a nice pier. A bit scary, but nice. Here we have like a wide angle view 
of all those holiday resorts I was talking about. Now to walk back and not get wet. Seas look a bit calm now. Or maybe they just want me to think that. I was literally just walking past here and you can see the water. The wave just hit the spear and the water came up. Oh. You just walk out of that. They probably got flung here with a wave. Some people fishing. Maybe I should go up. Less chance of me getting hit by a wave. See that water? When it's a big wave, it flows onto, it hits those rocks and jumps onto the pier. So just like this. Okay, let's continue with the tour. Let's go to Tiago's and get my food. <laughs> So I know that I saw a road here just now When I was going past That showed me Tiago's I think it's up here small road you don't even really see it oh no let me go around and then I think because that's just parking oh so there's the chair goes here on my right So while they are preparing my uh, food for tonight, it's a quarter chicken basically. So uh, I'm gonna do a little bit more touring. They said it will be about 12 or 15 minutes. I don't wanna waste that time we're sitting around here. So I'm just gonna go further down that pier that we saw. Here we are at the other pier that I was at, but I wanna go further down and have a look. Potholes here. Yeah. So there's a tall building there called Whale Rock. 
and there's another nice view around here. There's a pathway coming down from all those uh, uh, holiday resorts. Let me just stop here for a second. Quite a rocky beach here. Yeah? There's a pier we saw earlier. Wow, imagine living like right across to this view. Let's keep going further down. So as I said, I've been I've last been to Margate about three or four years ago before COVID started. But in total, I think I've been here about five or six times throughout like childhood and so on. It's a nice place to come for a holiday and maybe even stay. Although the prices, I'm, I'm can't say, probably quite expensive. Then after I pick up my food at uh, Tiago's, then I'm gonna head over to uh, Fair Hills Caravan Park where I'm camping tonight. Look at all these cats. There's so much of cats here. Um, yeah. That's gonna be me for tonight. There's even, there's another black cat here to the left. Why is there so much of cats here? Because of the fish maybe. Like people doing fishing and stuff. So when they cut bait and stuff, the cats come for the remainder. It's quite a nice beach here. St. Margaret's Angelican Church Valdesal Wait, am I heading back to where I'm supposed to be? I think I need to do a, make a U-turn Yeah, I need to do a U-turn So I got my supper for tonight and now I'm going to head back over to Fair Hills Caravan Park. So that area is more Ramsgate but I'll record it as I'm traveling there. So it can be a Margate and maybe Ramsgate tour. So now we're back at that Sasso garage and I'm going to turn left. So this road will be heading towards uh, Ramsgate side. There's a sign here to the left, Ramsgate, 4 kilometers, Port Edward, 32 kilometers. I think that Margate Beach is 1 kilometer away. But we already passed that on the, um, on the left side, on the beach road. So this is more like a main road.
Yeah. And Ramsgate's rear head. What's it? What's E drive? Margate. Right. Okay, now we don't need that. So to the left, I can see a sign that says Margate Police. You can see that sign to the left, Margate Police. And then over to the right, there's a bunch of restaurants there. Debonairs, Steers. There's also Netcare Margate Hospital to the right. Margate Veterinary Hospital. This looks to be a taxi rank because there's so many taxis. There's a bunch of stores here. There's a minus to the left. I don't think I ever came to this side of uh, Margate and, and Ramsgate. Maybe I went further past, but that was on the on the N2 on the freeway. I don't think I used these back roads before. So there's a sign saying Ramsgate. So I'm guessing all of this is Ramsgate going forward. It, it looks like a nice area, but Savenza Village Garden Center. Oh, Pop and Grill, Oasis, Pop and Grill. Every now and, and again, you can see a glimpse of the beach over these uh, trees to the left. Oh, I, I came out from here before. So that was the Margate Beach Road that I went and saw the pier and stuff. Ramsgate, one kilometer away. I thought this was Ramsgate. Why are they saying one kilometer away? So there's B&B, Graceland's Lodge. I can see that the camera is shaky every time there's a bump on the road. My apologies for that. These roads are not very um, smooth, as you can see from the potholes. So, to the right, I can see a bunch of shops. There's a spa, spa liquor, I mean, uh, tops, and then spas, uh, liquor as well. I know I stopped here before when I was leaving the campsite because I wasn't sure what time the liquor stores were going to close. So, I, I said, let me just buy it while it's still open. Okay, there's a Suzuki dealership. I think so. Just got a, got a Suzuki sign to it. Sign on the left saying bottles, yeah. It's kind of obvious that there is bottles. Eight column, there's a sign that I just passed that said eight kilometers to South Broome. I know South Broome is quite close to Wildco, so this place is like maybe 30 minutes before Wildco, plus minus 30 minutes. There's a doctor here. Aesthetic doctor. Blue Lagoon is a restaurant. And we are coming close to the Waffle House over to the left. Yeah, there's a lot more uh, chalet uh, resorts like here. So I know I'm close to where the camp area is because I took this right turn. Bro, 
Rocky Ridge, the home of live music. These look like nice houses, right? I mean, it's not that bad, but I can see the camera is continuously shaking all the time because the car is shaking from these bumps. Uneven service. Yeah, it's the same thing, Ramsgate. So this is probably Ramsgate, not Margate. It's a nice place though, Margate. I should come there more often. But there's not a lot of camping areas here, so unless I stay in a hotel or something, that's the only other way I can come here that often. Because there's no point going over and over again to the same camping site. Right? It's nice to try out new things. Did I pass all of this? Yes, I did. I saw the sign earlier when I was leaving the camping area. Look at how many patches they did to block the bottle. Butterfly Valley. I'm, I'm not sure what that is, but it sounds kind of nice. Huh? Maybe I'll Google it while I'm at the campsite. Or maybe you could Google it and let me know in the comments. So, um, yeah, there's so much of patches on this road from potholes. South Brom, straight ahead. But here is the camping area that I am at, called the Fair Hills. So I guess this is the end of the tour. I'll be going back to my camping now. So I'd like to thank you all for watching and I will see you all in the next video.